Welcome one and all, this is The Peace Dealer, and I am talking about a very popular concept in this community that has spiraled out of control, although I will say there is, through experience, some more wise and mature ways of seeing this. So if you personally feel you have a twin flame, if you personally feel you've been on this journey, then this video is definitely for you, okay? I uh, definitely want to make this to help some of you navigate through the confusion that comes with this. Um, when we speak of soulmate relationships, when we speak of sacred partnerships in that sense, it's important to know there are so many different types. There are so many different combinations of souls that can get together. If you have ever seen the World War Zero series on my playlist, go check out Karmic Connections. I talk about one aspect of them. So given Saturn and Scorpio and that transit that we've had, which forced everyone to open a deeper part of their souls, this started to really flare up these constructs, specifically twin flames, let's say, and people just went with it, okay? Um, when it comes to twin flames, it's a very basic type of connection. But you have people swearing left and right that they have twin flames or that they are twin flame when they're really not. And I'm talking from experience, counseling a lot of people over the past two years where I've read over a thousand natal charts and I have counseled people who have talked about their experiences, about who they think is their twin or not. I can say from experience and from going through my own illusions that there's a more realistic way to look at this dynamic. So once again, if you're wondering whether someone is your twin flame, if you felt you have seen so many signs that have pointed you here, let me explain why many of you had to go through that process. So you don't have a twin flame. The twin flame is a being that you are. A twin flame is speaking of one existence that has been split into two, theoretically, okay? The problem here is that you have people with limited human experiences taking a sacred relationship that is outside of you in just this physical vessel, and they're looking at it with that limited perspective when they see someone else who they have the hots for or that their subconscious has put them on a synchronicity train with and for when that person is just meant to hold space you think that that person is your twin flame an individual a human being cannot be a twin flame a twin flame is taking the whole multi-dimensional experience of yourself and encapsulating that in everything with everything so it's more accurate to say that your twin flame is like every dimensional version of yourself, the 3D, the 5D, the 6D, the 7D. And that's why I've, I've been saying for a while now, when you want to connect with the twin flame, you need to connect with a soulmate. And maybe that soulmate can connect with that twin flame vibration. A twin flame is not a person. It is a vibration. And this is why I've said, if you want to connect with your twin flame, don't look for somebody. Walk your path. If you walk your path. All right, you'll find it. Now, I've also mentioned that when I say twin flame, I'm saying this is just a code name. It's not, twin flames are not real, like at all. It's, it's a sacred partner that you may be looking for. A twin flame, once again, is a vibration. And the reason why I say Gemini, if you have a Gemini moon, if you have a Gemini sun or rising or Venus or any energy there, Gemini sponsors the vibration of twin flames because if you take the twin dynamic and the mutable sign of Gemini, which takes perception and then splits it through duality, this doorway into spirit allows you to actually harness the vibration. And so sun in Gemini's, moon in Gemini's, there'll be like mini twin flames that can bring other people to connect with their own authentic self. A Gemini is going to mirror your energy so you are originally speaking your truth. And this helps you align with that twin flame relationship. Whenever you see someone saying, I think someone's my twin flame, I think someone is my twin flame, they're saying they think someone is their sacred partner. 
okay? So everyone watching this, when you feel like someone is your twin, you're really at a soul level wanting to connect with a soulmate. I really hope you, pro I really am promising you, trust me when I say you, re you need to let go of this delusion of looking for that one person that's going to fulfill everything and that's going to perfectly balance you. It is true that a twin flame, you only have one, but it's not literal like this because you, I am not just this physical vessel. You are not just this physical vessel. You as a existential being, all right, not as a human, but you as a being exist on more than this plane. Even Neil Ticey Degrassi, I don't think I'm saying his name right, had alluded to how there are higher dimensional states of existence that your five senses may not be able to perceive yet. And this goes the same way. You have higher light bodies that exist in, in dimensions we may not be able to process now. So when you take this cosmic concept divine that's way bigger than you and you limit it to, to it having to fit in your template this is where confusion comes the way twin flame relationships may work is in the sense where a sacred partner could be a soulmate who embodies this twin flame vibration and mirrors you at a higher percentage than other people this is where it comes into how oh more than one person can be your twin flame it's not that more than one person can be your twin flame. It's that that soulmate is able to, in a compatible sense, reflect more of your authentic vibration than others. So I'm trying my best to have you walk away from this limited perspective to looking at someone as a human. That's why I say the twin flame relationship is supposed to help you ascend out of this limited perspective to look bigger, but not to use it as a crutch to look smaller. Okay. Also, once again, Saturn in Scorpio 2014, 2015 allowed you to go through an ego death to open up to these concepts. So many of you didn't care about twin flames, myself included. Many of you, that was the last thing you cared about. Everyone had to go through that illusion. So don't beat yourself up if you have had to go through. And it's not like everyone had to go through it the same way, but everyone had to get a vote there. 2015, 2016. 2017, when Saturn was in Sagittarius, you saw the synchronicities a lot. A lot of you were led away and gave up only to come back because you saw a sign. This was willful, deliberate deception. Saturn in Sagittarius, square Neptune in Pisces brought this up so that you can confront your illusion, so that you can go through and experience what it's like when you project fantasies when you project beliefs okay so a lot of you were supposed to be deceived a lot of you're supposed to deceive yourselves in this way so that now that saturn is in capricorn we can let go of this twin flame delusion we can now see realistically where we might have projected wrong and i'm not making this video to discount those of you who feel so strongly about who you feel is your twin flame it's very funny you have a lot of people who swear that someone is their twin flame when that other person doesn't even know them that well, that other person doesn't agree. You, if so, if you don't know who your twin flame is, or rather, if you don't know if someone is your twin flame, they're not. Like, trust me, a true twin flame relationship does not take place in this third dimension. What you want is a sacred partner. What you want is a spiritual companion who is a soulmate, like let's just get back to the whole getting with the soulmate thing, which is still kind of elusive. But once again, when it comes to getting with the soulmate or sacred partner, this is not someone you look for. This is not someone you project, ooh, you make me feel all this, so this is what you must be. It's something that you come into recognition dually. You will know that someone's your sacred partner because there is a dual recognition. There isn't this cat and mouse game of trying to make someone convince them that they're this to you. That is projection, okay? And some of you had to learn that. So you had to go through this deliberate square. Now that Saturn is sextiling Neptune, it's making a lot more of these etheric abstract themes a lot more concrete and realistic. OK, because once again, I, I'm going to admit I went through the stage of believing it, too, even though there are certain telltale things I have always said since 2014. And that is you should never look for a twin flame. You should stay true to you, that it comes to you. It's nothing you have to look for and it's nothing you have to project on other people. 
okay? And I'm going to stay with that. This is a very sensitive subject because a lot of people delude themselves and you cannot get them to believe that they were wrong about a feeling they had for some people. You want to get out of the habit of labeling relationships with others and quantifying this new age of Aquarius wants you to be a friend more than a lover so that you will be a good lover because you're you're more focused on being a friend to someone than wondering if are they my soulmate are they my sacred partner are they my twin flame as soon as you start wondering if someone is this this or this in your life you've lost like you don't have to worry about that you and i prom i promise for, for some of you who've been feeling this deeply like you're meant to be with someone there is a whole universe and celestial assistance out there and when it comes to this, some of you try and control it and forget you have spirit guides that help you with parts of life you can't see where you this is why you're supposed to focus on your path what you can control to a degree because as you vibrate this allows everything to attract to you the way it should so i just wanted to address those delusions um yes soulmates exist and and i'm not i will never say that twin flames don't exist it's just something rare. This, this lie that everyone has a twin flame, that's not true. Once again, when we even speak of twin flames, we're, think, we're looking at a vibration that's bigger than a human. So I could be a part of a twin flame collective, just a bunch of souls that connect uniquely as a part of the divine masculine. Like, let's say a twin flame is a union between Isis and Osiris, and Isis has representatives who are humans and Osiris has representatives who are humans who connect and share the twin flame connection but those humans are not twin flames they're soulmates or they're sacred partners okay and once again this is still very vague and this is still very symbolic I'm just giving you a symbolic look of how to quantify this it's nothing you have to take super literal I just want to clear any misconceptions once again so especially moving forward that we have this sextile, stop looking for your twin flame. Watch my secret the soulmate video if you want more understanding. Stop looking for your twin flame. When I was giving people twin flame readings, I was giving people twin flame readings so that through my channel they can get the reading and realize you're really looking for a soulmate. This is not your twin flame. Like I was I was helping reverse some delusions here. I wasn't trying to like sell and prey on people who think they know their twin flames because in the rare case some of those people are actually connected in that twin flame path it's just a rare it's a rare minority so you have the rare minority you have the majority who's not really in it who have been deluded to think they're in it and then you have this very confusing subconscious illusory patterning that had to be brought to the surface 2015 2016 2017 so you could see now where you lie to yourself you can see now with the light of consciousness where you are unconscious in patterns and the twin flame delusion was part of it. it wasn't the only one it was part of it so this is empowering a lot of you feel that you have a special someone out there that you're supposed to connect with and you do but it's just not limited to one that's a fairy tale to feel that out of everyone in this life you're meant to connect with just one and it's meant to be happily ever after you can see realistically that's not what happens in life. You're supposed to connect with multiple different people. Some are friends, some are siblings, some are romantic. And you're not ever supposed to enter the relationship wondering, are they my twin flame? Are they my soulmate? Are they my sacred partner? That's not really what you want to understand. It was okay to before because going through these mistakes is what leads to you growing. But once again, moving forward, don't worry about it really focus a lot on how you are a partner just to other people everything about sacred unions are destined and ordained it's nothing you can miss out on it's nothing you have to do it's nothing you have to do spells for because it ends up leading to projection and you have you have people who just stubbornly feel someone is their twin flame when they just have some kind of soulmate connection which is totally fine there's nothing bad about it what it's bad is that you project what is bad is that you limit yourself with an infinite limitless concept that's really meant for you to ascend and be your truest self it's never meant for you to live happily ever after and to have some romantic amazing relationship which we all want some of us want if you want that that's straight but just stop calling it a 
twin flame. Stop looking for your twin flame. Stop wondering if people are your twin flame. And uh, until next video, peace.